Hey, we're looking at humidity today, and there's a bunch of different ways that we can specify what the humidity is of some air. And one of the ways that's the best way, or one of the better ways, is by using something called the mixing ratio. So the mixing ratio is the number of grams of water vapor in a kilogram of air. So it's very specific to a kilogram. Uh, if it was grams per cubic meter, that would be absolute humidity. Uh, but the mixing ratio is one that we'll often use because it's kind of independent of the volume of the air. So as the air moves around, it's going to change its volume, but it doesn't change its mass. Now, there is a limit to how much water vapor can be in a kilogram of air. And if you're at that limit, then we say that the air is saturated, meaning that it's holding as much water vapor as it can possibly hold. And you can see at saturation, there's a balance between evaporation and condensation. So it isn't that water vapor isn't evaporating or condensing, it's just doing it at the same rate. We often like to speak of air as if it's some kind of a sponge and that it can only hold a certain amount of water. So if it's saturated, that means the sponge is literally dripping with water. It's, it's, it's holding as much as it possibly can hold. So in this example, where the air is 20 degrees Celsius, the air can hold up to about 14 grams of water per kilogram of air. That is known as the saturation mixing ratio. And it turns out that that is strongly dependent on temperature. So at low temperatures, like minus 40, minus 30, minus 20 degrees Celsius, the air can only hold up to a couple of grams of water vapor per kilogram. So it can't hold very much before it saturates. But at higher temperatures, it can hold a lot more. So at 20 degrees, it can hold 14. Okay, so as you get to higher temperatures, the capacity of the air to absorb water, to have water vapor in it, increases. So the question I'm asking for this question is, at a temperature of, let's say, 15 degrees, what is the maximum amount of water vapor that a kilogram of air can hold? What is the saturation mixing ratio? And all you have to do is look up here and read it off right over there. <laughs> 